My coffee pot went out this morning. Oh boy. So today, my Mr. Coffee went out. And hmm, what a day for it to go out, right? So I come in here this morning. My coffee pot is always plugged up in this little corner right here. And I came in, you know, I always have my water in my little compartment back here, right? I always have that water in there. And so I come in this morning, pop in my little pay cup right there, you know, close it up. And then I come over here and I mash the button. Now, the little light came on. You know, it, it popped on at first, and then once it came on, it was like, click. <laughs> that was it. That was absolutely it. And so I couldn't get anything else out of it afterwards. Okay. Yeah, not a good day. And it's a Mr. Coffee, you know. And the Mr. Coffee... The Mr. Coffee, Mr. what it does, Jackson, dude, I'm not going to play with you this morning while you drag this doll. No, I'm not doing it today. I'm not. Get out the way, Jax. Move. Okay. Dude. So now. Oh, Jackson. So now. Uh, <laughs> okay. See, I need my coffee. I really need a cup of coffee. But anyway, it just wouldn't work. And I guess for Mr. Coffee, this is not, you know, I've had it for five years, five plus years, actually. And I guess that's, you know, it's not a Keurig. It does hold the Keurig K-cups, of course, but it's not a Keurig. It's just a Mr. Coffee. And I guess five plus six years or whatever is good for Mr. Coffee. So, um, but it's okay. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to show you how I'm still going to make my coffee. No coffee pot, no problem. Let me show you what I do. On the stove, I've already started boiling my water for my coffee. I have my coffee creamer. I have um, some coffee filters. Let me back you up so you could see. There we go. All right, so I have coffee creamers, coffee filters. I have my, this is a one and a half pint size jar with a band. I have my spoon. I think I said coffee filters already. Slide you back there and my coffee cup. All right, so let me show you what I do. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna grab a coffee filter. And if you don't have a coffee, filter a paper napkin will do just fine. All you'll need is one paper paper napkin, just fold it over, double it. And then <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of squish that down in here like so, you know, we could form a little cup on the inside and fold it over the lid. And then I'm going to just put the ring on. I'm not going to screw this on. I'm just going to sit it down on top just like that. Oh, I forgot the coffee. See? Okay. And then I'm going to scoop in some coffee. And of course you could make this Ooh, that's too much. I'm gonna, you can make this as strong as you like or as weak as you like. And so up to you with the coffee. Okay? That's it. Let me show you this. And this is what this looks like. A nice little bowl, a little cup like. And then, like I said, I have my pot of boiling water right here. I'm going to grab this off the stove and start pouring it in. And I'm going to pour it in slowly to give those grinds an opportunity to get some heat on them. 
get some water on them. And I'm going to just pour it in carefully and slowly. And as it starts to fill, I'll just stop and put my water back on the stove. So, as you can see, it's got that little drip action going there. And that's what we're wanting. We're wanting it to assimilate a little coffee pot, right? Add some more water. And let it continue to do that little drip thing in my jiggy there. And it goes down fairly quick, but it still holds a little bit of water in the bottom and uh, it drips slower and slower. Uh oh. The lower that is. The lower the water level is, it drips a little slower. all of that poured in and just let that drain through and once it drains or drips through rather I think you could see that and coffee's nice and dark it's beautiful it smells good too it smells great actually so this is so simple to do when your coffee pot decides in the middle of an early morning that, hey, when she get up, I'm just not going to work for her today. I don't care. I'm not coming on. I'm on vacation. So when your coffee pot goes on vacation, then you have to have a way to or know how to make you a cup of coffee. It's, and you know what? How handy is this? Like if, if you were... If you were um, in a survival situation you were off grid or something like that and you just all you needed to do was just uh, boil some water use some paper towels paper napkins or filter or just whatever in fact I have this in my backpack right my hiking pack I have it I have um, paper towels paper napkins in my hiking pack so that I can make coffee and just a little pot so I could filter it through so I have that in my hiking pack right but you know this is this is awesome to be able to do this now let me show you what I do next okay so now all I'm gonna do is lift that ring off because all it did after all was just hold this in place and I'm just gonna gather this together like so just gather it to keep it from falling down in the cup grab my coffee cup take that over to the garbage now ready for my cup of coffee. This is hot. Very hot. Whoops. Let's wrap it all the way around. How about that? Now, pour my cup of coffee in. Like so. Oh yeah. That looks great. Can y'all see that cup of coffee? That looks so good. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'm just going to add a little of my creamer here. And my coffee cream, this is uh, from Left Fields Farm. It's a, a new cream that I got from Walmart recently, but I wanted to try it. It's a non-GMO mm -hmm. type of a cream. And they had it in the caramel flavor, which is one of my favorite flavors for a coffee creamer so until I learn how to make my own caramel coffee creamer this is what I buy and I really like it it's a simple cream it's not too um, I don't know it's not too heavy or it's not too sh sugary you know it's a little different from the coffee creamers that I've used in the past so I really like this one I, th I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with it until I learn how to make my own but anyway here's my cup of coffee stir that around some of you may say wow she likes cream coffee with her cream yep I do so this is my cup of coffee and I'm excited to 
I'm excited to get into that, especially since I had that fail with Mr. Coffee this morning. Mr. Coffee and I are going to have to have a conversation. But all right, thank you. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on No Coffee Pot, No Problem. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share the video, like, and subscribe to my channel. Peace and blessings to you all, and thank you again so very much for watching Homestead Heart. I'll see you next time.